What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel, the best place to see all sorts of police interactions and to learn your rights. So if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like with your comments to help these videos get out there to bring awareness to the people, help to end police misconduct and bring accountability to the government. As you will see in this video, the police threatening the public with arrest, saying that we do not have the right to free will. Now today's videos come from the following channels. I am free in land auditing media and honor your rules civil rights investigation. So make sure to go show them your support and let them know that I sent you. Now let's move on to the videos. Look like you were showing up at the same time I was here. I can be wherever I want to in the city. Oh yeah, I get okay. that. So what's the attitude, James? Why did you become a cop? Like, oh, it pays ten more dollars an hour than the post office, and I get a gun. Sir, what's, uh, what are you doing here at the campus? What are you filming, videotaping, things like that? Whatever I can see in public. Okay. Are you saying this is not public? I didn't say that at all. Uh, did, I, did you hear those words come out of my mouth? Yeah, it sounds like you have a real okay. problem, James. Sir, don't James. stop. Yeah, you're okay. not gonna tell me what to say and not say. You, I'm asking you a simple question. I'm not no gonna answer your question. I'll okay. do whatever I want, James. Okay. Literally. Do you have an ID with you, please? Nope. No, you don't? Okay. Can you identify yourself? Do you, do you suspect me of committing a crime? I'm asking you to identify yourself. Do you suspect me of having committed a did crime? Did you walk into their parking oh, 100 spot? Oh, 100% I did. Yeah. Okay. 120%. The authorized parking spot? Oh, did you say Where what? It says authorized. Oh, walk parking? in there. No, absolutely no, not. I walked up to the gate. Lot. Yeah, absolutely. I never went in any okay. any area you okay. cannot I, go. That's hey, that's all all we're asking because somebody had called and said that you had walked in. No, all on that's camera. The, no. Never happened. I hear you. I believe you. That's that's what I'm saying. We got a call. They said that. That's all that matters. Why is there such a disparity? Are you new? Why are you exceptionally professional so Sir. far and you're okay. not? Well, let me apologize first, okay? Can you provide us with your name? We are contacting you. We'd like to know who we're talking to. Right? My name is Gandalf. Gandalf? Is that your first or last name? First. First? Is it spelled like it is in uh, Lord of the Rings? I happen to be the same wizard. Okay. And what's your last name? Well, I'm older now, so it's the white. The white? The white. The white? The white. Okay. Silence. Keep your full tongue behind your teeth. I have not passed so far in death to bandy crooked words with a witless word. Yeah. That's not my middle name. Do you have a middle initial? I don't. No? Wiz most wizards don't. What's your uh, date of birth, sir? Before Sauron. I can't even remember at this point. It's okay. really old. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. We just had to make sure that you weren't walking into their... No, no. And everything. Well, I want to be clear. But hey, man, as long did as you're Did someone report... That, I just want to be clear. Did someone report that I walked into an so unauthorized area? Someone called and said they saw you as, as you're dressed. They described you. They said it looked suspicious. You were walking around the front entrance. It looked like you were walking around to the back with a camera, things like that, okay? Total bias. Uh, some passerby saw that, okay? Oh, no. I know. So, I, I can tell you 100% who it was. Well, okay, I'm not going to say 100%. I'm going to say 95%. Jesse Rainwater, the second to supervisor here, I walked over there. I saw him standing there. I had an encounter with him here almost two years ago when I came here and audited the uh, post office then. Yeah. He was a little upset. Oh, well, he was here back then? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I, I just talked to him the other day. He said he was new to this one for a little bit. Jesse Rainwater, the second? Yeah, was it wasn't? Oh, Jesse's a little upset when I came back to... It Check for bald place. eagles flying over the post office. All right, man. Well, we'll get out of here. Oh, no, you're not in my hair. crossing over that. We're good. How many bald eagles do you usually see around here? I tried to fly I, I on to one coming it. into town and leaving. Uh, over the post office today, more bald eagles than two years ago when it was basically a pile of non-freedom crap. Do you ever see bald eagles over at High Point? Do you ever go over there for one right now? No. I've no. seen a couple over there. That's why I asked. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, man. we're gonna get out of here though, okay? Let me ask you a question, James. I want to ask you a question. I appreciate you apologizing. Thank you. What What was happening up to that point? Like, what was going on in your head? Did you think I was like some terrorist, or what was going on? Because your demeanor is different now than it was at the beginning. I'm good. I mean, I know, I know, I know that. I'm just saying, like, what happened? You started out by insinuating I was saying something that I didn't actually say. So I was telling, asking you not to put words in my mouth, okay? Good morning, gentlemen. God bless our homeless veterans. Yep, I'm a vet too, man. All right, cool. Air Force. All right. You got your ID on you? What for? Vagrancy. 
Vagrancy? Yes, sir. You got several uh, complaints on here. You're begging for food, money, stuff like that. That's not true. Okay, well, I'm just out here for that reason. Okay. So, do you have your ID on you? Am I required to give you ID? Yes, you are. Well, what happened if I don't give it to you? You're going to jail, period. Go really? Jail. Yeah, really. Sir, I'm standing on a public sidewalk engaged in constitutionally protected Correct. activity. Correct. But I'm letting you know you're going to go to jail, no questions asked. Even if I'm standing on a public yes, sidewalk? Yes, How many times do I got to explain it to you? So if I don't give you ID, I'm yes, going to jail. going to jail for failure to identify. Can I just leave? If you wish to do so, but I need to identify you. I don't wish to do so. I'd like to stay here. And you're, express you're, not going, my... you're not going to stay here, period. I'm going to let you know. Do I have to leave? Yes. Why? Because I'm instructing you. I'm giving you a lawful order to leave. And if I don't leave? You're going to jail. I'll go to jail. For failure. And your officer, Sergeant Joffrian? Sergeant Joffrian. Right. 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 Y'all have a good day. You got your ID with you? So if I don't go, if I don't leave, I'll go to jail. Yep, give me your ID first. What do you get when you cross a dinosaur with a cop? I don't know. Jurassic pork. And if I don't give you ID, I'll go to jail. Yes. Even though I've explained to you that I'm engaged in constitutionally protected activity. I don't activity. care if you explain it to me or not. Safeguarded by the First Amendment. It's okay. freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and freedom of assembly on a traditional public forum. The steps of City Hall. Correct. I'm yep. not begging for you money. Got your ID? I'm not begging for money. Okay. You got your ID. Do I need to show you my ID? You need to show me your ID. Yes, sir. Or what? You're going to jail. <laughs> well, you guys, I tell you, man. I'm going to put you on notice before I show you my ID and before you do this. No, you're going to show me your ID right now. Okay. Then you can do whatever you wish. After that. You guys are idiots, All man. Right. Okay. That's your opinion. You guys are really are dumb, dumb as office. a bag of hammers. Okay. That's perfectly fine. Let me get back up here. I'm yeah. trying to leave. <clears throat> George 600-433-70-0081. Is my ID going to tell you if I'm committing a crime or not? 433-70-0081. doesn't is, matter if you commit a crime or not. You have to identify in reference to a complaint because you're violating. You, know, uh, you need to have reasonable articulable suspicion that a crime is a fact. You okay, I you, do have reasonable suspicion. I just instructed you. Uh, so. Vagrancy? Yeah. What, what ordinance is that? City ordinance. Go Even though I've explained to you that I'm engaged in constitutionally protected. You, you don't need to explain anything to me because I literally don't care. I'm right. not here in reference to a complaint All right. by the mayor of this city. By the mayor? By the mayor of this city. Okay. If you have any complaints, you can send me an email, call him later on. You know, at this point, I'm going to remain silent because this is obviously, you guys. This isn't some free will state, man. This is how it is in the state of Mississippi. So you don't have and, freedom and, in the state of if, Mississippi? If, if you don't like it, you can go back to Florida, period. All right, well, let me have my ID and I'll go back to Florida. I'll give you ID once it comes back. I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> and you're a veteran. I'm a veteran, yes. What sir. did you serve? Huh? Where did you serve? That's none of your business. All right. Did you take an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution when you served? I absolutely you, did. Yeah, and you're not doing that right now. Okay, that's your did opinion. Did you take an oath to uphold and defend that, the Constitution that, that, when that you is your opinion. became a cop? That is your opinion. Then you're not doing it right now. That's your opinion. Who is, who, you guys have a supervisor? I'm the supervisor. I better start recording this. You can start recording. We've been recording the whole time since we made contact. Coach, I'm not, I'm not panhandling. I'm just coming out saying God bless the homeless veteran on this public sidewalk at the steps of City Hall. You don't care. I'm going to jail. I just said you were going to jail. <laughs> you never said I was going to jail? Oh, boy, I wish I was recording before. Okay. You guys said you're recording? Can you get body camera videos in uh, the state of Mississippi for a public record request? Absolutely not. Okay. All right, Mr. Jeffrey, you're free to go. Free to go? Can All I right. stay? No, you cannot stay. You got to go. So if I don't go, I'll go to jail. Correct. Right. Give you a lawful order and not come back. Have a good evening. And this is the sergeant speaking. This shows why the country is in the state that it is. First, in this day and age, it doesn't take much to become a police officer. It's stupid, but you have to put much more work to graduate from high school than to become a cop. And second, as you can see, even if you don't know how to do your job as a police officer and don't honor those that you made to protect the constitution, you'll most likely end up getting promoted to sergeant. But is this guy serious? Did he really say that people in the state of Mississippi are not free? 
What century does he think this is? This is why it is important for you to know your rights and help spread awareness to the rest of the public. So make sure to support the channel by subscribing, like the video and leave a comment to keep the conversation going. And remember, always record the police.